though. <laughs> you, know you know we're, we're going to get a good show, show when it's Monday a Monday morning and it starts, starts off with Kevin going. Audio, Audio live, live in five, five four, four, three. three. No, no, you know, you know what? what? I started, I started counting, counting way too early. early. <laughs> He's like, oh, I said, I'm counting so high. He's like, I'm counting so high. I'm 20, 19, 18, 17. You just find something new, man. You're just like, okay, ladies and gentlemen, happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. And welcome, and welcome to a brand, brand new week of festivities and all, and all sorts, sorts of shenanigans. We're going to have a great, great week. It's going to be a great week. It's GDC Week. With me today is Tim. Um, you're watching the kind of show here on Twitch.tv slash kind of funny games. We have some great stuff planned across the board for our morning show offerings. We'll get to that in just a second. If you guys did not know, this is a live show. It is. Every day, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You guys right can be here. in the chat with us. You can subscribe via Amazon Prime. It's your daily reminder to do that. Uh, what do you get for subscribing? Well, you get cool uh, emotes. You get private chat time with us at the end of every show. And when we play games, you guys get included in that pool of people from which we choose. Of course, if you guys can't watch this live, NBD, uh, you guys can. That's no big deal. Mm -hmm. You guys can go to YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny every day. <laughs> and you can watch it almost in its entirety unless we do a trailer reacts and get fucking claimed by Disney. I apologize. The war on Friday. Disney is real now. It's they were they were at one point our friends. They used to be cool about it, but uh, you guys can still see our trailer reacts to Avengers: Infinity War, but you can't watch the trailer with us apparently because fucking Kathleen Kennedy and Bob Iger and uh, Kevin Feige fucking hate you. Mm. They hate you, mm. and you can tell them I said that. Don't tell them I said that. Do not tell them I said that. Uh, of course, today's episode of the kind. Actually, sorry, Kev, this is the wrong sponsor in there. Today's episode of the Kind of Funny Morning Show is brought to you by Me Undies. We will give away a game sponsored by them a little later in the show. It's going to be great. Up on this show today, uh, Tim and I are going to be talking a little bit of news, and then we're pretty much going to go into our weekend because we talk about our weekend. This we're going to talk about some Marvel shit. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I got some shit to say. Oh yeah, some but, shit to shoot. Uh, before we get into that, speaking of Marvel stuff, of course, uh, MCU in review in full effect. Yes. Age of Ultron. Tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny. I will say again, I am mystified every time I go back to watch these by my reaction to them. The craft of these movies, without yeah. going too far into it, the fact that we hear about things that when they first happen, we're like, I don't know what the, the fuck, fuck that is. That? But now we're watching it, you're like, oh, I know exactly what they're talking about. These it's movies are going to go down in fucking history. Oh, yeah, easily. One day, the next generation, any of us that have kids, those kids are going to be like, I can't believe that our dads got to fucking see the MCU when it was in oh, the yeah. Years. Oh, yeah. In the same way that like I feel about people with Star Wars. It's like, I'm so envious of my like mom It's like back in the day my mom saw like Gone with the Wind and everyone was like, that's the coolest movie ever. And now I'm like, fuck you, mom. Because yeah. I get to see all these cool Marvel movies as they come. <laughs> yeah. All these kids are going to grow up and be like, tell me, Nick. Tell me, Dad. I'm not Dad. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> tell me, Uncle Nick. <laughs> tell me, Uncle Nick. What was it like seeing Iron Man in theaters? And I'm like, well... I got myself a big diet coke. I don't know what happened to that accent. You're still, I got myself you're still a big doing the diet same coke shit. And a giant popcorn and maybe a king size Reese's peanut butter cup. And I saw RDJ just hey, fucking no, bring himself Jay. back from his alcoholic state to reinvigorate his career. I do this voice sometimes when we, because my wife and I drive by the Mrs. Doubtfire house all the time. Got and it. there's always out of town tourists there. Mm -hmm. And I do this voice to her that cracks her up. I'm like, hey, you know what we should do today? We should go see us that Mrs. Doubtfire house. You guys want to see the Mrs. Doubtfire house? Hey, let's go see the Mrs. Doubtfire house today. We'll get some chicken afterward. It's fun for me. Don't go to the Mrs. Doubtfire house. It's just a fucking house, people. What else? What else do we have today? Well, that's happening tomorrow at 9 a.m. Of course, today is GDC week. Uh, all sorts of special guests uh, coming on this show and Kind of Funny Games Daily. Kind of Funny Games Ooh. Daily is Pat Kev bringing this up. Um, you guys can go over to the Kind of Funny Vids Twitter and see the schedule of people. Sheshwa. Holy crap. We have Khalif Adams, Danny O'Dwyer. He's returning. Christian Phillips. I don't know. Who's Danny O'Dwyer again? I don't know. I don't, I don't know guys. Um, You're dead to me if you move out of state. Jason Schreier. Awesome. And Christian Phillips from formerly of Sony San Diego. Obviously, we know Jason Schreier, the number, the one, number two video game. We call him the Shry guy. Uh, we, do we, do, we, we do call him the Shry the Guy. Shry guy. And then Daniel Bloodworth from Easy Allies on Friday. That's all on Kind of Funny Games Daily. Uh, this isn't on here, uh, but breaking news that came in last week. Uh, Damon Baker from Nintendo, uh, the Mr. Nindies himself, one of the Mr. Nintendos, will be on Kind of Funny Games cast. Tomorrow there's a Nindie showcase where they're going to announce a bunch of Nintendo Indies, mm -hmm. um, and he will be presenting that, and then he's going to come on Gamescast and talk about it on Thursday. So get hyped. Super hot. I Super. love that. 
Oh. I love that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, final piece of housekeeping news right now. We do have an amazing party mode going live this Wednesday at 9 a.m. over on the games channel. Uh, it is the kind of funny world championship party mode. And this one's for all the marbles, ladies Jesus. and gentlemen, featuring uh, WWE superstar Xavier Woods uh, or Austin Creed, depending on which name I call him. He always tells me to call him the opposite. Mm. It's super confusing. It's true. It's intimidating to me, but he's a lovely, lovely man, and he donated some of his time toward this party mode. And let me tell you, folks, it's worth a dollar. It definitely is This worth one, it might be the best party mode of all time. We're get, here's the deal. I've been faking it for the last three years mm -hmm. all, on these party modes. Yeah. This one really years. brought me back. This mm -hmm. one brought me back. At it first did. I was like, we're just posers. The but I watched is, this one and I'm like, this is a great party What's mode. funny about this is it's a tournament. That, that it's features, a bracketed tournament. A bracketed tournament that for the championship that features mm -hmm. all of us. And the thing about it that blows my mind is yeah. it was not scripted. It was not planned. No. It just happened. But the way it all, every single thing that happens, I'm like, this is what, if I was like a WWE We'd writer, this. Yeah. this is how I would write this, this out. It fucking goes, it tells such a story, man. It's, I can't wait for you guys to see it's that. It's a whole lot of fun and a whole lot of gang shit. Remember, guys, if you guys want to tip us, we will read tips at the $5 or above level or 500 bits or above level. You guys can ask us questions, uh, give us compliments, send us clips. But be warned, be forewarned. If you send a clip, it has to get through the Great Wall of Kevin. And uh, the Great Wall of Kevin has gotten harder these days. He is the the, the barrier to entry for clips now. He is has fucking, gotten harder. He's these gotten days. harder. He's more firm. He's harder, oh. and he will like it's got to be at above ninety five percent laugh factor for Kevin to get for Kevin to approve these clips. Yeah, I have given Kevin full reign over that, and I have yet. Uh, I have yet to to not like that. There mm -hmm. you go. Uh, let's bring up this first news story, Tim. Yeah, let's do it. How much do you care? about Indiana Jones 5. Indiana Jones, in general, very much. Indiana Jones 5, not at all. Uh, well, in fact, I just wish that, th this is one of those things I'm like, ah, just don't. And I'm a big fan of like, sequelization of sure. things and like franchises. You watched all of the Transformers I have seen every Transformers, not all in theaters. I want that clear, I did okay. not see a, or whatever Six. the fuck, last night. Yeah. I did not see the last night in theaters. Um, but I just see the rest of them. Uh, with Movie Pass, will that change? Well, I'm gonna see Bumblebee. There you are. Oh, Bumblebee <laughs> might be a legit a good movie. We, we, it's got John Cena in it. It does have John Cena and Haley Steinfeld, who is fucking amazing. The more I see that girl, the more I fall in love. Did you see her on Lip Sync Battle? No, they but did I've a heard Michael her sing, Jackson. Which is amazing. They did a Michael Jackson tribute, and she fucking kills it. Did she? It is. Can we watch fantastic. that right now, or is it gonna get fucking? It'll definitely struck? get us struck, but it's great. I'll uh, be yeah, Indiana Jones 5 to begin filming in April 2019. Um, Let's read the story a little yeah. bit. Director Steven Spielberg has confirmed, this is from, uh, by the way, CBR.com. I don't know what that is. Director Steven Comic Spielberg. resources, bruh. Is that what it is? Yeah. Whatever. Director Steven Spielberg has, it looks like a fake site. But I, I, I love it's reading not, news though. stories like a fake site, from mm -hmm. fake sites. Like these, things, these sites that look fake. That is the most Nick Scarpino thing of all time. What do you get into? And I love it. Nobody, nobody comes to this, door, this show looking for fucking truth. They, they come for the American way. Director Steven Spielberg has confirmed he plans to begin filming the fifth installment of Indiana Jones franchise April 19th in the United Kingdom. Quote, it's always worth the trip when I get back with this deep bench of talent coming out of the UK, the filmmaker said Sunday at the Empire Awards. Quote, the actors and the crew, the chippies, the sparks, the drivers, everyone, everybody who has helped me uh, make my movies here and will continue to help me make my movies here when I come back in April 19th to make the fifth Indiana Jones right here. I don't know what a chippy or a spark is. I'm pretty sure he made those two things up. Uh, the Ben Como in the chat uh, brings something, a very interesting point up. He says, yeah. I hope he dies in it. And then they do Fugitive 3, and then he dies in that. Mm. And then Air Force 2, and then he dies in that. Just kill all of Harrison Ford's characters. I mean, at some point, listen, he's going to have to die, because at some point Harrison Ford will die. But can we stop and just, why are we getting this? Why are we getting Indiana Jones 5 when we could be getting Air Force 2? Wow. That's all that I want in life from this moment on. Is Air Force 2, like when he, his wife becomes president, and, he's the, he, and then he becomes like the vice president? to his wife, and then he has to fly in Air Force Two, and then it gets taken over again by Gary Oldman. Is Air Force Two a thing? I think the vice president's plane is Air Force Two. Really? I could be wrong, but I saw it on Scandal that the other week. sounds right. I saw it on Scandal the other week, uh, which is a show that, yes, mm -hmm. I've been forced to watch way more than I want, and no, I don't like it yet. Is that the one Keyword about the, the woman that keeps drinking wine and eating popcorn? That's not Gia Harris? <laughs> No, that sounds like the Gia Harris life story. Yeah. No, this is Kerry Washington. Yep, no, yeah. yeah. That, that's the, the, 
I forgot her name in the the show, but they call it the I, the it's, scandal diet. It's <laughs> wine and popcorn. Fucking dumb. Uh, although speculation swirled that 75-year-old Harrison Ford might be replaced as archaeologist adventurer Indiana Jones, both Spielberg and producer Frank Marshall have insisted they're not interested in recasting the role. Quote, it's certainly not my intention to ever, to ever have another actor step into his shoes in the way that there have been many actors who have played Spider-Man or Batman, Spielberg said in 2015. Quote, there's only going to be one actor playing Indiana Jones, and that is Harrison Ford. He goes on to say, yes, I realize Harrison Ford's old as shit, and yes, I know most of you don't want Indiana Jones 5, but I've just done Ready Player One, and I want to go back to the well. Mm-hmm. I made that, I paraphrased going that back last to the well. part. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I paraphrased that it last It sounded part. right. Uh, luckily, it doesn't sound like Shia LaBeouf mm-hmm. is going to be making a triumphant return as Mutt Williams. What's he been up to? What's uh, he been at? He had a little bit of a breakdown. That was a while ago. And though. I think, from what I understand, he's getting his ducks in a row to uh, to come to make a comeback. I read a story the other day saying that he was working with a therapist, uh, working with a few different people to uh, be able to communicate a little bit better with the outside world, and I think he's ch- planning to mount a comeback. Okay. Now, I've said this before, I'll say it again. I like Shia LaBeouf. I like Shia LaBeouf, too. There's uh, a lot of haters out there. He went a little nuts, mm-hmm. but in, that, in him going nuts, he provided endless entertainment for, True. for assholes like me True. who will just in a fucking heartbeat flip on him. Yeah. Do you see what I did there? Mm-hmm. You see how I was like, I like him, but then now I'm, just, now I'm deriving a tremendous amount of pleasure from his fucking mental breakdown. Remember when he went on, he was just like, do it! To do it then. Do it! That was great. And he Remember when he green did, screen. What a fucking fuck yeah, did. He knew what he was doing. Oh, he's he memed dude. himself. Remember when he did? Uh, remember when he did that thing where he just uh, did like an art thing or art installation mm-hmm. where he just sat outside for a while. Yeah. And everyone's like, you're loitering. Thing where he watched all of his own movies in a row in yeah. the theater. And there's just video of him reacting to it. <laughs> I love it. He, I is, love the, it so he much. is the Kanye West of actors. He I is the Kanye West of actors. And you know what? I, I ain't even mad at it. I ain't mad at it at all. From holes till infinity. Chat. Let us know if you miss Shia LaBeouf. Is that how you say his last name? I don't Lombo. know, but you always say it like that. And it just, <laughs> it bo- it's bothered me for years. <laughs> Listen, how else do you say his name? I think it's just it's, LaBeouf. It's spelled Shia LaBeouf. L-A-B-E-O-U-F. Like, you don't even be like Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're talking Shia? We're, yeah, we're talking Shia, dude. Shia. 60 seconds hey, of Shia. Hey, you know that my code name is Cheesy Fingers for when we play fucking Rainbow Six. Cheeto White? Fingers. Cheeto Fingers? Yeah. Why you tra- Nitro Rifle, Cheeto Fingers, Cheeto Greg Flapjack. Yeah. Flapjack. Flapjack. What's your, cool, right. what's your cool name going to be? I don't know, dude. We're going to call you White Boy. I, I don't get to choose. Can we call you White Boy 1? Me. I'm going to call you White Boy 1. White Boy 1? Yeah. Because there's probably another White Boy. So we'll True. just go safe and be like, you're going to be White Boy 1. one. Underscore 1. All I remember is uh, from Shia LaBeouf is when he was like, during the whole Trump thing, he was like, he will not do something us. He will not, uh, what was it? Divide us. So they were in Times New York. Nope. Times Square? Times Square. There you go. Yes, you got it. You got it. Times you what happens, happens in Andy's head? Times New Roman. Same thing that happens in my head when I go to LaBeouf. And so he, like, LaBeouf. so he was like, they were out there, they were like protesting Trump. He was like, he will not divide us. He. They were doing that whole thing, and then like some like alt right Nazi dude kind of came up and started talking shit. And Charlie LaBeouf was just getting in his face, like face to face, going, he will not divide. And all these people were chatting at him. They had to break them up. I was like, man, Charlie LaBeouf, shit, I'm fucking fighting the good fight. And then he said something like, Racist or homose- homophobic several weeks later. And I was like, man, Shia, what happened? <laughs> like, <laughs> I guess they got divided, what man. You do, man? <laughs> Shit. He, he's one of those guys that I think, I honestly believe his intentions are good. Mm-hmm. I think more often than not, his intentions are good. I just feel like he's so, he just doesn't live in the same reality that 99% of us live in mm-hmm. because he's a mega Hollywood star. Like, he got so big so fast that it's just that same story of like, he just got big and couldn't handle it and burned out a little bit. Yeah. But I think he's gonna come back. He's got. He's only like he's in still his. Still got it. What is he like? Early thirties? How old could he don't possibly be? Like 32, 31. Yeah. What he's was got the, plenty of? He's a was, fucking great actor. What was the band he made on Even Stevens Project? It was uh, Fifty Seconds the, to Mars. The Stevens Twitty can, uh, oh, Experience. Oh, the Experience. Yes. Yeah. The Twitty oh, Stevens Experience. Damn, like man. Yeah. Let's go. What? Are you gonna? How's do? guys? How's the show going so far? So far, so good, man. I'm glad you came to join. Um, cool. I did want to tell. I'm glad you're here because yeah. we could tell the story about. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do one more news story. I want you to go away, and then I want you to come back during okay. the time I talk about the weekend because you and I bonded over the okay. weekend. Okay. I don't know this news story. Bring up this next news <laughs> story, ladies and gentlemen. Morning <laughs> show. <laughs> Necessary. It's a wonderful day in my neighborhood. A wonderful day for my neighbors. Why are you singing it to the tune of like Arthur's theme song? No, because that's what Eddie Murphy did when mm. he did it. 
Did you ever see Eddie Murphy doing Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood? Uh, not it's that I remember. fucking hilarious. Uh, all 856 episodes of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood return to Twitch for the show's 50th anniversary. That's starting tomorrow, 1 a.m. Eastern time. They're going to they're gonna start with 90 episodes, the, like the best 90 episodes, and then they're going to go back and restream okay. apparently all 856. Oh I love this. Yeah? That's why I put this on there. Okay, I love it too. I was terrified of Mr. Rogers when I was a child. Mm-hmm. And, it's, and now that I'm thinking about it, it's because I was maybe afraid that I was going to get molested. He doesn't... What? What? But remember, we did this topic on the Game Over Greggy yeah. show. Is he where, creepy as shit? I was just like, we got to do a deep dive on Mr. Rogers because out of all guys, like he he's, has not been cleansed. He was supposed to be he a cool guy. He is the best of us. He was supposed to be a cool guy. If you look at it, he squeaky clean record. But there is was some, when I was a child, there was something about a guy that would come in and talk directly to you who wasn't your dad that I just had a general mistrust of. He would come in, he had a coat. He would take the coat off, he would put a cardigan on. He would take his shoes off, he'd put his little house slippers on or whatever, and he'd be like, hey, you're in my house now, and you can't get out. Jesus. I mean, we have different memories of the show, but yeah. Anyway, it was, that's it was... why I'm excited about this, Tim, because as an adult, I can come with my rational adult brain Hold on. and no, figure this out. No, don't move. Get back in that fucking position. You lay down for me. Like You lay down and you, show, and you display no, you, yourself. You were more, me. your head was over here. Yeah, that's what was happening. I'm gonna tweet out this fucking picture of Andy Cortez over here looking like Princess Leia <laughs> in fucking so Return beautiful. of the Jedi. We can bring that up on the morning show after you've printed it out. Uh, printed it out. <laughs> Nam the man says, <laughs> that's, that's called, I'm so tired. I did not sleep at all over the weekend. Too much gaming. Dude, okay, Andy. Andy, yeah, Andy welcome Andy, Andy, Andy back to the show. About it. What's up? So, What's up? What at, I miss? At two o'clock in the afternoon <laughs> on a Saturday, Andy right. hit me up. And he just said, R6, dog, question mark. RS6. Whatever. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I made that part up, but it doesn't matter. And I was like, I can't right now. I'm out. My mother-in-law was visiting. She was staying with us all weekend. Right. As, as anyone who's ever had family What a cock knows, block, dude. <laughs> Jesus. I love my mother-in-law. It is super great. But you always have, when you have house guests that stay with you, you're always sort of like, at, you have to be attentive. Oh, you like... It they takes your so much energy. And they don't, and my mother-in-law is lovely, but she and she doesn't mean to have this. But it's just, you know, you can't. There's no time when I could just chill and relax. Um, but Andy kept hounding me. He was like, yo, you got if you want diamond status right. in Rainbow Six, you should probably start playing the game. So I was like, cool. So uh, we watched, I made them watch over the course of the weekend, Avengers Age of Ultron mm -hmm. and Justice League. Okay. Just for the one-two punch. Mostly because I wanted to see, Compared I actually combat. wanted to watch a Marvel movie and then immediately watch kind of a, a, a you know, an analog to that in the DC universe. Had fun watching both of them. Mm -hmm. Had more fun watching Justice League than I thought I was going to have watching mm -hmm. it. Uh, my mother-in-law and wife, on the other hand, did not have as much fun watching that. Mm -hmm. And they did the thing where they just started talking. Yeah. And then the magazines came out. And then Nordstrom.com came out. And then we started ordering things. And that's when I paused the game and hit up my boy Andy Cortez. Sorry, I paused the movie, hit up my boy Andy Cortez, and said, yo, is it R6 time? And he was like, no, it's RS6. And I was like, all right, cool, right. let's do this, but I don't have a headset, mm -hmm. so we're just gonna have to communicate via text. I'm like, maybe I could call you, via maybe I could text. do this. I was like, maybe I could Slack There's you. There's nothing like first person shooter competitive gameplay via text yeah. chat. It's the and, best reaction time. Yeah. And Andy was like, you know you can just use your iPhone headset and just plug it into the thing. And by the way, I've been to Best Buy, I thought about dropping 150 bucks on a headset. We've got some Astro headsets that were donated in there mm -hmm. that I was going to use. Greg was supposed to bring me one this weekend. All, I've talked to all of you about this. Not I, once, not once did you guys tell me I could just use my Bose headset that plugs right into my phone. We were, I kid you not, Nick, in Starbucks. You wouldn't believe it, ladies and gentlemen, but we were in Starbucks Never at Westlake. And I told you, you can just use any headphones and you're fine. And you're like, nah, nah. Listen, let me ask you a question. Oh, it is R6S. Rainbow Six Siege. I was thinking Rainbow Siege Six. What do you mean? <laughs> Someone in the chat just says he's just high all the time. <laughs> Andy, that's how the, he looks. The kid says R six S Andy, and I was like, no. I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Rainbow Six Siege, not Rainbow Siege. 6. Oh yeah, so R six is correct. Right. If you just want to say Rainbow Six. Sure. Siege. So which one of us, just to clarify, Alfredo Diaz is the dumb. Everybody, fuck. hit up Alfredo Diaz and ask him what the correct. It's just R six, bro. Term is. Nobody says R6S. He's the king of it. It's not a fucking they Audi. Just, they call it Siege. It's not the performance package of an Audi. He's it's just, the king it's of it. It's just R6, dog. It's just Siege. Look, I am on the road to being diamond, uh, a diamond player in this yeah. game. Okay? Diamond, diamond level. Diamond. I will be diamond. I am the Dustin Diamond 
of Rainbow Six. Okay. Do you understand me? I, I am the. They call me actually, alcoholic, and you're twelve years older than everybody exactly, else. Exactly. They call me the Screech. Mm -hmm. They call me the slime bag. <laughs> That's okay. what they call me. Okay. Yeah. Is that your new name? No, Cheeto my name is Cheeto, Cheeto Fingers. Cheeto Fingers. This is White Boy underscore one, and you're Nitro Rifle. Kevin is the Great Wall. Greg is Flapjack. Greg is Flapjack. Joey's right. just JoJo. Okay. Joey's just so JoJo. Anyway, so, hits me up and goes, yo, you want to do this? And I was like, let me preface this with my mother-in-law and my wife are on the couch with me right now. Right. So, halfway through, we started playing the first game. We jump on. We're having a blast, by the way. It's me and Andy <laughs> playing, uh, what were we playing? Terrorist Hunt. Just Terrorist just Hunt. Just and we're getting our asses kicked to us because we should have two other people with us, but we don't. Yeah. And we just don't fucking who cares a shit. And I'm screaming like an asshole. And my and then Andy's like, "What is? Are, are you? Are there children? Who's laughing at you right now?" As my mother-in-law and my wife were just like, "You fucking nerd, <laughs> playing your nerd game." The funniest was just like hearing Nick and seeing him in game and him going, "Oh man, it's gonna be fun." <laughs> and he does that laugh that he does. It's so fun. I, I don't know anyone out there, if you guys haven't had a chance to play an online multiplayer right. game, you should give it a shot. It's actually pretty fun. Give, um, it a, give it a chance, man. Just, what are you waiting for? Yeah. After this show, don't bother watching Kind of Funny Games Daily. Just jump on and play some R6S. Some Audi R6S. Yeah. There you go. With your boys, Cheeto Fingers, White Boy underscore one. I, I want to change mine to Cheesy Joe Fingers, because I don't want to get I don't want to get a copyright strike from the Cheetos. Every well, you time could, I play. You can spell it differently. Like, oh, like toes? Yeah. Yeah, um, obviously white boy spelled Y, damn it. W-Y-T-E-B-O-I. No, it's W-T boy. White boy. You, yours could just that's... be C-H-T-A-T. -T. W-T boy? Y, y T. Excuse me, not W-T. Yeah, I'm so tired. I haven't slept in three days. Oh, my God. <laughs> what were you saying? Uh, C-H-E-A-T for cheat toes. C-H-E-A-T? Yeah, like you're cheating in the game. Oh, oh I like that. Yeah. Like, oh, this guy's so good, he must be cheating, but you're not cheating. How about, what if I change my name to Dr. Disrespect? <laughs> Do you think that would be You might get cool? some pushback on that. You think so? Yeah. There's Professor Respect. Oh. Professor, yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. Good, good talk, guys. Cool, Andy, thanks. Thanks, Andy. Cool. Thanks, Andy. Thanks, Andy. I will say it's DJ interesting Nitro rifle. watching uh, an MC movie right back to back with a DC mm -hmm. movie. It's, uh, man, they just have such a level of polish and cohesion on the Marvel movies that DC just does not have. Mm -hmm. Namely, and I know this because when we were watching Age of Ultron, obviously uh, my wife is a little bit more into the, the Marvel Universe because I've made her watch every MCU movie as we're watching them. But... That that and my mother, like her and my mother in law were actually able to pay attention to that versus uh, the Batman game, the Batman movie. She was just like, no, I don't know yeah. what was going on. La the other sad thing was, uh, had we watched them opposite, I think it would have been the exact same thing. Because when you watch two movies back to back with a team of people going after a MacGuffin and a big bad guy that looks exactly the same, like fighting each other, mm -hmm. my wife's like, are we watching the like, same what movie? What the fuck is happening? Yeah, that's pretty sad. Anyway, yeah. well, how was your weekend this weekend? Uh, my, weekend was, my weekend was great. Uh, I did two things that I was very happy about. I watched two different things. I'm going to start off with uh, a random YouTube idea that I had. I was like, you know what? Yeah. We watched Age of Ultron, yeah. BNG. And I was like, I, I want to remember the time before we knew about all this, before we knew about Infinity War. And I was like, there was that day that random Tuesday morning where Kevin Feige came out and mm -hmm. just dropped the bomb on everybody. It was just like, here's the next, here's phase three mm -hmm. of the MCU. Mm -hmm. And we just saw a bunch of dates and then one by one he went through and dropped the logo and was like, we're getting fucking Ant-Man. We're getting fucking Doctor Strange. We're getting Thor Ragnarok. We're getting this, we're getting that. All the way up through Infinity War. And I was like, I wonder if that's available somewhere. So I YouTubed it. Oh, Nick, it is. Is it now? And it is a 24-minute press conference. Should we watch it Worst now? audio of all time. Should we watch the entire 24 minutes Dude, now? honestly, I would love to do a, a reaction video. Maybe as like that. Maybe as like an MCU interview bonus show yeah, or something. Yeah, that'd be fun. Dude, watching this thing for 24 minutes, it's so crazy because we know what happens. Like, we know, like, how these movies turn out. They announced the Inhumans. That didn't happen. Captain Marvel gets pushed back. There's a lot of weird little things. But it's the most fucking hype press conference of all time. I think E3 is hype. This is the coolest thing ever. They go through it. We get to the end. The first one they announce is Captain America, Serpent Society, Cap 3. Uh huh. We go through. Then eventually they announce Avengers Infinity War. But when that fucking logo comes up and it says Avengers Infinity War, part one, and then part two, the crowd goes fucking nuts. And then after shit. that, he's like, you know what? This all looks good, but I'm having buyer's remorse on that uh, on that Captain America subtitle. Let's change it. And it goes, and then Civil War comes out. 
Holy fuck, man. It is so good. I recommend everybody just search for a phase three announcement, and it gives me so much hype. Yeah. That we're going to get a phase four one eventually with yeah. a bunch of X Men, a bunch of Fantastic Four in there. It's going to be cool. And it's funny because like, I just got that feeling where I'm like, I should look at this. And it's because I guess we're the, with Age of Ultron, Ant Man's the end of phase two. So I was like, yeah. watching this, it's the perfect time where it's like to, for what we got left in the MCU interview. I'm excited. I'm very fucking excited. I will say this again, going back and watching Age of Ultron. It, it's funny how these movies are act, had, do take on deeper meanings when, when put all together, when you've seen them all and you kind of understand. Because I didn't really know a lot about the Infinity Stones, things like that. Seeing Thor go off into that weird pond, you're like, yeah. what the fuck? Like, what why? the fuck is going on? But it kind of has makes more context now. Totally. There's a lot of shit in Age of Ultron that's rushed that I wish they'd explained a little totally. bit more of. But like Vision and like understanding what that Infinity Stone does and where he comes from. Them talking about Wakanda? Yeah. Which back then I was just like, all right, cool, whatever. Yeah. But now it's like, but now it has oh, context. Fuck. Really cool. Um, yeah. The fact that I could legitimately, the fact that my wife was like, wait a minute, where are the stones now? Mm -hmm. And I could, with some semblance of accuracy, tell her that a couple of them are on Earth. One of them's over in the collector. One of them's over here. And she's like, okay, how many are there? I'm like six. She goes, where are the last two? I'm like, I don't know. Those are, <laughs> you've gone. That's, you've exhausted my knowledge on. On, uh, we haven't seen the last two, right? We haven't seen the last one. We don't know where the Soul Stone's at. The, that's the orange one? Mm-hmm. What? Where are, where are the five of them? Two of them are on Earth. Strange has one. Wakanda has one. Strange has one. Wakanda, no. Vision has Wakanda one. Wakanda doesn't have one. Strange has one. Vision has one. Yeah. yeah. Loki has the Tesseract. Yeah. Uh, the Collector has the, the Ether, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then the... No. And then Nova Corps has... Oh, that's Nova right. Nova has, has purple. Power. That's right. Yeah. And then... We don't know where the Soul, Soul Stone is. we have no idea where it is okay. yet. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fucking fun, God, guys. Man, I, I can literally, we just gotta do a Marvel podcast from here on out. Yeah. Let's just do it. We, we essentially do. It's called MC Interview. Go watch it. It's pretty fun every week. Uh, Tuesdays, 9 a.m. Um, Tim, what did you, oh, uh, wait, no, we, we talked about this. Oh, and then the other thing I watched. Oh, you watched uh, Sherlock Holmes. So, yeah, because again. I watched uh, Age of Ultron, you know, we were talking about how much Robert Downey Jr. is just a fucking boss. He's a boss. And I was on G and I was like, hey, like, have you seen Sherlock Holmes? And she's like, no. Oh, it's so good. And I'm like, dude. We're fucking doing this. I yeah. haven't seen it since it was in theaters, but I remember loving it, being so surprised. That and Star Trek were my two movies of that era that I was like, I did not expect to like, and then I fucking loved. Oh, man. Um, so Don't we watched Sherlock Holmes. fucking start talking what about What a Star fucking Trek. movie, man. Great movie. Sherlock Holmes 1, I've, I've never seen 2, and we're going to, I think, tonight. Still so good. I'm pretty excited about I it. I liked 2. But the way that, that the movie like crafts the, the world that they're in and the narrative and the... The, di the different characters and the way the action is shot, the score is fantastic. It, the whole thing, man. I'm like, this is really damn good. Yeah. Why don't they still make these movies? I my my theory on it is because they're like, hey, uh, Robert Downey Jr. When you're ready, we'll make another one. But he's pr probably on the Marvel set every fucking second of every day. Yeah. And he's like, whatever, man. I'm cashing checks right now. I don't know. I don't know why. You would, you would assume, I, I assume the second one did just as well as the first would have not. It did a little bit worse, sure. but I was looking into it. It seems like the first movie broke 500 million and the second one was like almost at 500 million. That, those are good fucking numbers, yeah, man. Yeah, it's not bad. I can't imagine they take that much. Although, to be make. fair, there's only one MCU movie that didn't hit 500, and that was uh, Hulk. Oh, so, that was Thor Dark World. Yeah. I just read an article about how much that guy hated being in Thor, the bad guy. Oh yeah, yeah. He did Thor and he did GI Joe back to back. They were like, Jeez. those are the, those are two of the movies that he basically was like, these are just paycheck movies. And he mm -hmm. was like, with Thor, I just wanted to put a fucking bullet in my brain the entire Good time. Lord. I was like, I don't think you're going to get hired back anytime soon, yeah. sir. Well, but you're also the worst uh, of all the villains, the MCU, as uh, the Ragu Bagu rating shows. And uh, Vic Two says, did you know that Gavin Free worked on the second Sherlock Holmes movie? I did. He helped do all this slow-mo for it. Oh, that's right. Because those guys had like the only Phantom Flex in the, uh, in the UK or some shit like that, right? Yeah, and it's cool too because the, the use of slow-mo in even the first movie is fantastic. Well, they did. What I like about those movies is that um, they really, they kind of merge the style of Sherlock Holmes with uh, with the director's style. What the fuck? I can't remember his name now. I just said it like five times. God, Guy Ritchie? Yeah, Guy Ritchie. Guy Ritchie does a good job of not making it too Guy Ritchie. Mm-hmm. But just has those elements like the fight scenes. The I really like the style of the fight, where it's like quick, slow, quick, slow. Well, I, I love pretty cool. I love his fighting style, where Robert Downey Jr. just keeps slapping people. Mm -hmm. Like it's always like open palm, open just palm, like bah, 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 bah. And I, I love the style that I feel like now might be a little bit trite and overdone. But it was the first time I saw everything slows down. He's like, first I'm going to do this, then I'm going to do. This. And he explains right. everything he's about to do, and then it speeds up, and you just see him do it all. It's like. Holy shit, that's there, really, really rad. There's a great one of those in, this, in the next movie. Yeah? Yeah. 
Oh, I'm excited. Well, and the next movie's all about Moriarty, obviously. Yeah. And, like, and, and it's played by, uh, I want to say, what's his, not Jared Hess. I don't like that actor. That plays I love him. that actor. Really? Are you kidding? Oh, dude, he's so good. He was in Mad Men. He's the guy that hung himself in Mad Men. That was the other thing that I really appreciated about Sherlock Holmes was watching it, the, the end, they like build into the sequel so well. That oh, I was yeah. like, man, this reminds me of Batman Begins, where yeah, it's like, like oh, I'm the car. fucking hyped as hell. Yeah, what's the, I'm going to look at the actor's name right now. Hold on a sec. Ladies and gentlemen, talk amongst yourself. Uh, Jared Harris, not Jared Hess. Jared Hess is the guy that played Napoleon Dynamite. Very <laughs> opposite actors. That would have actors. been very different. That would be amazing. It's like, oh, hey, dude, you got to get yourself kissed, dude. Um, That's not the point. Like, Rachel McAdams, man, killing it. She is, uh, she's something special. Mm -hmm. She's something special. She Coming back, movie as making well. her come back in game night. Mm -hmm. There you are. Uh, tell you what, though, going go back to the, go back to the DC me. world, uh, the mustache stuff. Didn't notice it as much this time. Really? Yeah. Mm. Was going to point it out to my wife and mother-in-law, but they weren't paying attention to the movie anyway. So, so what's like, the yeah. point? What's the point? What's the point? Who did you say played Napoleon Dynamite? Jared Hess. John Heater. Fuck! I'm who's Jared Hess? <laughs> Jesus, I'm so wrong. <laughs> I'm looking this up now. Jared Hess is the director. Thank you. Says Greg Branscombe. All right. Well, there you go. Let's go into some tips. Let's do them tips. How does that sound? It sounds good. Does that sound sensual? Does it sound dissimo? Uh, if you guys have given us a tip at the $5 above level, we will read it. If there's a clip involved in that tip, it will go through. The, it has to go through the Great Wall of Kevin first. If it does not, uh, then we do not. That is how it works. First tip today comes from Peppermint Gentleman. He's given us a nice tip. It said, too long. For a uh, hashtag fun clip, but for the love of the 80s film, help this KF best friend get a B-Day shout out from Tom Cruise April 1st. He clearly He's clearly in love and made a video homage. RT's appreciated. Homage. Is that what this is? Is this no, the clip? this is something else. Well, bring up this bit, Lily. I'm not, I want to know what he's talking about. Is there a, There's a kind of funny best friend who's trying to get a shout out from Tom Cruise. I don't know if Tom Cruise does stuff like that. All I want for my birthday says Andy Canchola. Uh, this April 1st is for at Tom Cruise to wish me happy birthday. Please help make my dreams real RT and share this short film I made for him. Well, there you go, guys. If you guys want to do that, go ahead and retweet it. Uh, I doubt very sincerely that Tom Cruise himself is actually checking his own feed, his own social feeds. I'm pretty sure he has a team of Scientologists behind that. But, <laughs> hey, if you guys want to want to go ahead and retweet that, go for it. Thank you very much for the tip. How... Hollow Me says, uh, I want to say thank you. She gives us a nice tip. He gives us a nice tip. But I want to say thank you for getting me through the rough days of waking up at 4 a.m. for work. Was greeted Ooh. with the cool Greg postcard in the mail today cool as well. Greg. Blade Runner 2049 uh, was great. It's true. Um, I don't know what this word means. Sucks. Oh, he it says, says sucks. It says sucks. That's aggressive as fuck. But I'm going to assume that's a typo. You mm -hmm. meant it was fantastic. fantastic. It should have probably taken uh, movie of the year last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it works. Oliver. It says, Chippy equals carpenter, Spark equals electrician. My dad was the oldest guy on his site, and they all, they called him the Jurassic Spark. Jurassic uh, Spark. Shia theme is one clip. Awesome. Okay, so a Chippy's a carpenter, and a Spark is electrician. That makes sense. That makes sense. I thought the Chippy might have been the craft service person, but. No? Yeah. Because of the chips? I guess so. Do Who you knows? guys want to watch this video? I kind of do. I kinda. I'm a little bit worried about, like, the audio or giving us a copyright strike. I don't know how this like, I say it's worth it. Okay. I say we give this the shot. All right, here we go. Bring Shia back is all I say. Hold go on, this it. video is called Plus Shia, Plus One Shia Every Three Seconds. Do it! Just do it! <laughs> just do it! Just do it! With the on the left side <laughs> coming out. <laughs> this is so stupid. This must have been hell on the render. I'll tell you that right now. I love it when I just keep popping up. I love it. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thank you for that. Uh, and our final tip from now comes from Jan Helia yeah, says, uh, now that we have a full-blown bearded Greg, can we get a beardless Nick? P.S. Can you please shout my friend's name, John Michael Reyes, as a war cry? Uh, we use it when we play games. 
Well, that's what that's what you're gonna get from me. <laughs> that's that's the energy. That was the one. That's, <laughs> that's it. I got. I'm so tired right now. I'm just so terribly tired. Kevin, put a blanket around me. Let me take a nap for five minutes while these fine people watch me sleep. That's how tired I, I am. I right you a blanket. Now. We gotta blow up bed. I can I can set this all up for you. Okay. What's up, Joe? I don't know. I'm just gonna. Just coming to hang out. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Tim. Yes. It's uh, it's PSL love its best friend XOXO time. I'm gonna hijack this one. Go for it. I I have a shout out I want to give you. You can read this and then I'll do because I don't want to take away from someone else's. But no, then okay. we can bump it for tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Let's okay, put it okay, okay. I want to give a shout out. So Tim Gettys is. You can go to kindofunny.com slash best friend to nominate someone in the community doing dope shit. Yep. Uh, I'm shouting out my good friend Sean Finnegan, Aww. who uh, jump, 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 jump. just directed and shot sure, uh, one of his first really big projects at IGN, uh, where he was totally in control of what was going on. It's called Fast Travel, mm-hmm. um, and it is a travel show in like showing off cool barcades and stuff around the world. Uh, the first episode was in San Francisco with Barbara Dunkelman, and that's Me why dogs? Barbara was here. Oh, that's right. Years. Kev, can you... Can you go on YouTube? No, IGN's gonna claim us if we do this. Every time I play an IGN video, they claim us. IGN claims us? Yeah, I got claimed like three times. You get claims, but not blocked. Right? Fair. It's worth it for Sean. Sean, you can have the five dollars. Anyway, just go to go to YouTube.com and type in IGN fast travel, or there it is. Um, If you could just put that in the chat, Kev, that'd be fantastic. Uh, We don't need to. Just go to go check it out. It's really cool. It looks fancy and pretty. And I That's really starts pretty. Starts off really fucking. Cool. A lot of drone shit. A whole lot of drone shit. Whole lot of drone shit. Play, just play it for me so I can watch a little bit of it. I'm playing it muted. Really cool shots. Really cool. So yeah, first episode's in San Francisco, and they did a good job with it. It looks. Wow. Pretty, do you Honestly, see this at all? No, I. He, he sent bit. me the link, the, the extended version of the link. I uh, have not had a Shit's chance dope. to watch it. Yet. It's Altano and and Barbara just hanging out in different barcades in San Francisco, uh, some of which we're big fans of. Is that one? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Very cool. Definitely check that out, guys. I love that. But you know what I love more? What do you love more, Nick? Giveaways. I like Ooh. when we give away things. Tim, tell people how they can win a giveaway every There's day. four different ways that you can win, Nick. Did I just one. rhyme giveaway with every day? Oh, my God. I'm on fire today. <laughs> I'm so one. tired. Be in the Twitch chat, too. But I'm on Be fire. Be a Twitch subscriber, three. I can't stop it even if I wanted to stop. Support us at patreon.com slash kindoffunny. Or four, patreon.com slash games at the $2 or above level. They all stack on top of each other. Four ways to win. Uh, but the giveaway is brought to you by who, Nick? The undies, ladies Ooh. and gentlemen. Let me tell you something. If you want to look good in your underwear and be mm-hmm. comfortable, right? I do. Well, Tim does. But do that day. perfect balance is hard to find. Don't sacrifice style or comfort. Check out MeUndies.com and find the best pair of underwear in the world. They've called it the best pair. It is. Tim calls it the best pair. It really Again, is. Again, I wouldn't know Mm-mm. because Tim steals all of the Every good pairs. Every single pair. Because he likes the way it fits his, his hoochie hooch. Oh there. my God, it makes everything it. look good. It makes everything feel good. I, Tim's just, got got, a I venti- just got some new ones like, this weekend. Oh my God. Let me tell you, when Tim goes to Starbucks to get a venti iced coffee, mm-hmm. he likes to have two comfortable hands hold that thing. And that is exactly like his underwear. You see what I'm saying, folks? MeUndies will be the most comfortable pair of underwear you will own. Made from sustainably sourced, naturally soft fabric that is not one, not two, but three times oh, yeah. softer than cotton. And uh, I feel it, too. Right now, they, of course, are having 100% satisfaction guaranteed. They guarantee you will love your undies or your money back. Uh, you can get 20% off your first pair and free shipping. It's pretty, I mean, look, this is guaranteed right here. If it's mm. not, they just take it, they take it back. They don't give a shit. They don't care. And it's, dude, it's no brainer. I love these things so much. I just got some ones with parrots on it. Yeah. The colors are fantastic. I love it. I like to match my underwear to my outerwear. You know what I mean? Oh, I do. I understand. And now, that. now I have a lot more options with that because of the eccentric colors that they Let have. Let me ask you this. Does mm. Gia like uh, the soft, eco friendly fabric that's that so comfortable and touchable? That she does. Well, that's great. Yeah. That's great right there. Uh, right now, they're running a 20% offer, free shipping, 100% satisfaction guarantee. What are you waiting for? To get your 20% off, Free shipping and their 100% satisfaction guarantee and get the best pa- pair and softest underwear you will ever own. Go to MeUndies.com slash morning. That's MeUndies.com slash morning. This is a limited time offer. So what are you waiting for? Start wearing the best underwear you of your life. For? It changed Tim's life. It's time to let MeUndies change yours. Go to MeUndies.com slash morning right now. Today's winner. Do we have a winner? Yeah. We do? Yeah. I don't see it. There we go. Did it get deleted? Red, white, blue. You got them Jamaicas on. You have them too? 
I do. What in the balls? I told you. I've been wearing them. I've been wearing them before they gave us any free. They never gave us free. Did you get free? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, once, and then I subscribed. Oh. I just subscribe. I never got anything. Am I remembering this wrong? But didn't we? Didn't you start ordering them because whenever we did the morning show, it was like there was like a little ad on our browser. Yeah, I think so. And you were like, "Those look look really good." Yeah, they look really good, and they turned out to be really good. Full circle. You know what I mean, Nick? I don't because they send free pairs. Tim takes the pairs and he puts them on his junk junk. And I'm not. I'm not going to touch me, I think it's called a hoochie hooch. Oh, uh, the hoochie hooch. <laughs> Thank you. I think, sorry, I think I, I think I was messing up my vernacular there. Yeah. I think the hoochie hooch is uh, for the female read. They give us a male read and a female read. I took I the male know. read. The junk junk is for the male read. Oh, the junk junk and the hoochie. Yeah, the hoochie. Gotcha. Either way, there there's me undies for you. Uh, of Here's course. What I want to say. Yeah. Well, what do you want to <laughs> say? <laughs> what do you got for us? Yeah, I just want to put everybody on notice. All right. Mm-hmm. Here's. I'll set the scene for you. Last night, it's in my bedroom. It's dark. I'm laying there, Jen spooning me. She's big spooning. Portillo, little knifing on the other side of Jen, all right? He's just laying there like the nuggie is, you know what I mean? Got, okay, the little knife, yeah. Jen's holding me but you're, like this, Go right? Ahead. Yeah, get in there. And then I just start doing this. And then I couldn't do it anymore. I just burst out laughing in the pitch black room. And she's like, what is so funny? And I said, shit, you not. I am recapping Age of Ultron in my head right now <laughs> for tomorrow's MCU in review, and it's going to be a doozy. Oh, uh, my God. I got God. some zingers in there. You I got do? some good stuff. Good stuff, everybody. Well, we're very excited about that, Greg. I can't wait till we film that today until it I'm goes live scared, tomorrow at 9 a.m. YouTube.com slash kind of funny. Today's winner of the giveaway comes from the Twitch chat. Congratulations to Fee41. You have won Fate Extilia, the Umbral Star on PS4. Thank God. For that game and that title, because mm-hmm. every time I read it, I'm like, "Here it goes." Tim's gonna make fun of me, the but I star. nailed it this you time. You nailed it, dude. I didn't need to make Frickin fun. Nailed of it this time. It's all good. Similar to the time, by the way, I'll have everyone know when Andy came on. I was like, "Yeah, we played some R6," and he's like, <laughs> "It's RS6." No, no, you no. fucking Andy, you f- fucking dipshit. <laughs> he's God such a dipshit. Damn. Well, congratulations to Free Four One on Twitch. You've won that game, uh, Tim. Let's go into the old three and three. Let's go into the old. This show is just moving three. right along. I, I like it, man. That. It's been a good one. It's. I, I like when we hit about eleven forty-five. We can spend a little more time with the chat mm-hmm. because to me, uh, that makes up for the fact that today's news story were was donkey shit. Uh, Mr. Rogers, I was on Twitch. I had nothing else. <laughs> and where the, the fuck were you, stories. Uh, Mr. Yasman Three Hundred? With the cool, he always brings me the story that I missed. Yeah, nothing today. He's just shit in the bed. I think. I mean, he was putting something. I saw something. Uh, I, I didn't know. see it. <laughs> he says, "Hey Tim, are you pissed that Disney is remaking Lady and the Tramp as live action animation movie from Disney streaming services?" Also, Nick is thinking of no. Jared Harris. Thank you. No. The live action. It's interesting because they're like Lion King live action. It's going to be live action Lion King, mm-hmm. but not one of those characters is going to be a real thing. It's all going to be CG. Yeah, it's weird. It's just CG shit now. It's just an excuse for them to make new songs and bring back Lion King and have it be just a little bit different. Kev? But we're going to need a new Beyonce song. Can you go to Instagram.com uh-huh. slash hi underscore uh-huh. I'm underscore Chewy. Chewy spelled C-H-E-W-I-E. Hi underscore? Hi, I'm Chewy. Okay. Wait, Nick, I don't know if I... Hi, it's high underscore, I'm underscore, Chewy. Good use of the underscore is high underscore, Chewy. Yes. C-H-E-W-I-E. I found the dog version of Andy Cortez, Nick. Oh, And no, this is him. Oh this my God, is him. so cute. It's just like, so the thing is, whoever this glorious dog's owners are taught him yeah, how Andy. to do this little hand thing. That's Andy. It's Andy. The only thing so that would make it a little better is if he was a black Pomeranian. Because Andy has that jet black hair. But, this, right. but, but this has the spirit of it. So you see the hand back. thing? Like, look at him. So he's, he's taught to do this thing. Just keep going down and look at all the pictures because there's so many just different poses of him or just pictures of him in different outfits doing the freaking hand thing. Give me the one with the. Give, Kev, can give me the one with the. Yeah, the sunglasses. I want to see the sunglass one. Like, that is Andy Cortez. That's so Andy. Now, Andy is the KF Pomeranian. Everyone knows this. Click, scroll down, Kev. <laughs> what, does he have a glove on? Yeah, he has little gloves. What's he has little gloves. Little fucking hand. Go down. There's a, yeah, click on that oh video. Oh my god. I love this. The reveal this of this so is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's. Um, I feel I like watch, I we fucking, need to show I swear that. to God, 
Out of all the things I I follow on Instagram, 50% of them must be dog videos. Dude, they're so fucking There's a couple good, that are man. cat videos. Emergency Cat is pretty fucking His amazing. His little one. hand thing. God, he's so stupid looking. <laughs> yes. Just look at that right there and tell me that's not Andy trying to figure out how a door works. <laughs> It's so mean. Oh my god. Drewski 2K says just bought my dog a raincoat because the rain keeps coming in SF. It does, man. It does, it does. I love nothing more than when dogs have to wear parkas. Like mm -hmm. that shot of Portillo in the all clear raincoat is my is the is everything. Yeah. It is fucking everything. That's there you the go. This, this is how I found him. Of course you did. Of course you did. For those of you guys that don't know, we won a LaCroix contest, and I swear to God, every time I come in, there's more LaCroix. It just keeps coming. I, everywhere I look, I'm like, wait, wait there's, it's in there too? Yeah, so it's everywhere. Guys, yeah, if you guys want LaCroix, we'll be Mr. Doing Yasmin 300 says, day. Tim, are you sad that Fifth Harmony are breaking up to pursue solo careers? Yeah, because if, if I'm lying, I'm dying. Fifth Harmony came with the slaps oh, while they lasted, Fifth man. Fifth Harmony was a jam. They're worth it. The Realist 023 says, Nick, do you have a dog? Question mark. No. I don't. Uh, I'm not allowed to have pets at my building unless I get a doctor's note saying that I need a, uh, what do they call them? Emotional. Yeah, emotional support animal, and I just think that's a really fucked up way to, to cheat the system. Uh, unlike the guy that lives next to me who decided to get a gigantic fucking husky in his uh, studio apartment that he lives in with his girlfriend. So that's cool. That's a, great, that's a great place to put a big dog. And does that dog sit and cry all fucking day because nobody... Uh, is there to like hang out with it or let it out or let it run around for fucking 10 hours while this guy's at work? No. That does make me happy. Joey, what's up? Uh, did you talk about your nephew that was here this weekend? Oh my God. He wasn't here. Uh, I've just asked my sister-in-law to send me uh, shots of him. But that he's, I, so like look, follow me on Instagram, Nick underscore Scarpino, because I'm going to start posting a lot more of my nephew, Winston. He is a Boston Terrier and he is a beautiful human being. This is him right here. Talk about your slippers. You got you got you got to just turn the volume. There it is. It just keeps going. <laughs> when you think it's gonna end, is it gonna end? No. <laughs> Don't you just want to squeeze his head? Squeeze his head. Lexi Gunner says, uh, "Did you guys see the little Dicky and Chris Brown video?" We did. Yes. Good lord, it's little Dicky is back. It's absolutely genius. Now, my big question about Lil Dicky is, does he have another hit in him? Because these are these are cool YouTube hits, sure, but is he gonna get another Save That Money where it's gonna get on the radio and stuff? And I don't know that he's capable. He's definitely capable. I don't know, I don't know. Does he want it though? That's oh, the question. Yes, he wants it. Does he want that level of fame? Because a lot of people just don't. A lot of he people does. don't want the money. He does. They don't want the, uh, the quote unquote bitches that mm -hmm. come with it. Mm -hmm. um, they don't want any of that stuff. You know, A lot of people just want to live at around the 71,000.2 Twitter followers. The 230,000 subscribers on YouTube. Just, you know, here's the deal. Tim, when I was young, I, I thought to myself, one day there'll be this thing called YouTube, and on YouTube, if I could hit 230,000 subscribers, I'll consider myself a success. And we did it. Time to pack the bags success. and go home, everyone. We are successes. No reason not to just enjoy what you have now. Yep. Is all I'm saying. Uh, Corey Wick says, fuck Chris Brown. And I say, fuck Chris Brown as well. Yeah, he's a, he's kind of a piece of shit, but whatever. It was a great video, though. It is a great video. It's hard, it's hard, because I'm torn, because I'm like, this is a funny fucking video. But Chris Brown is a giant it piece of trash. It doesn't take shit. away from the fact that he's an asshole, but it yeah, also, he we're allowed, allowed to think it's funny. Shit. True. Be adults. It is interesting, though, that people still work with him. Like, he didn't get He didn't get fucking cleansed, which is so random. I mean, he got cleansed, but Came it was back, just cleansed at a different time. Different he got era. cleansed, he got purged, and everyone's like, hey, Chris Brown, we don't like you anymore. And he's like, I'm just going to keep coming back. And everyone's like, all right. With you, more you. tattoos. Yeah, he's like, all right, you're cool. <laughs> like, I remember when all that shit was going down, he did this fucking amazing performance at the Grammys where it was like he was going up these, like, the, the you know, the 3D projected, mm -hmm. like, cubes. And I was like, God, he's fucking talented, but it's too bad he's a he big fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Cool, Greg, what do you think about Chris Brown? Cool, Greg just left. <laughs> Just straight up, <laughs> Cougar, started shook to his talk, head, walked out. Shook his head, left the room. <laughs> left the room. Uh, let's go into sub only mode. Let's do that. If you guys want to be subscribers, remember you have Amazon Prime. You get one free Twitch Prime subscription. I gave mine to Jay Jamrod. Uh, uh, Greg gave his to someone last last week as well, and now it's on you. Now you have to do it. 
If you haven't done it, you're a fucking. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got to pick someone from the from from our community. Okay. Who is streaming? Mm -hmm. I get. Uh, I think I haven't given mine a snow bike mic yet. I think Greg gave us a snow bike mic, so you have to pick someone else. Someone different. Okay. Yeah, I, I will. I, I will happily give mine a snow bike mic when we come back around to it, though. Okay. Tweet at me somebody that that's streaming and wants us to subscribe. There you go. We know, we'll give we you our some stuff. people. We can, we can get you some. We people. got some peeps. Okay. Joey's sitting right here. I should get it for you. Joey got me. You could do some some Teddy Chineris. Teddy oh, Chineris. Teddy Cheat. Teddy uh, Cheat. You could do some Sancho West. Ooh, Sancho, Sancho West. West. Yeah. I'm gonna do Teddy Chineris. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Uh, the Walnuts, the Whatnots, excuse me, says, if Indiana Jones dies in the new movie, Laura Croft should raid his tomb. Why did I read that? Be better is what I have to say for you. Although, here's the deal. He's got to die. Stop making an Indiana Jones movie. Stop it. He's 75 years old. In the last one, he had fucking dad butt, like he had grandpa butt, where you're walking around, you're like, is he wearing a diaper? Does he shit himself? Was that last plane crash? Is the, that what did the it? Things that you notice about movies and actors, like it just it will always blow my mind. I've never seen any human being ever mention wigs in movies. They're bad. Until you, man, wigs are the wigs in the I've Marvel never, universe are, are it's travesty. One of those things where you're so into it that you're convinced everyone always has a wig. First off, Chris Evans t definitely wearing a wig the entire time. <laughs> His hair does not look like that. I think he's going bald. He said he's going bald. So he's wearing a wig the whole time. You see him on stage wearing a wig. This is what I don't like about it. You see him on stage. He's this is what I don't like about it because there's such a pressure when you become Captain America to have like the full head of hair and like be jacked that I feel like when he goes on stage, he has to do the whole wig thing too. And I think it's just sad. Let him be bald for Christ's sake. I don't sake. know that that's true. <laughs> he, he has said, I'm losing my hair. Yeah, but like you also say that, but we're, we're looking at your hair and you're like, well, you're not wearing a wig right now. Am I? Am I not wearing a wig? <laughs> Maybe. And this has gone so fucking through the mirror that even Nick thinks he's wearing a wig. <laughs> I don't know anymore is all I'm saying. I get up, I take the pill every day, and maybe it's just a wig. Maybe my wife in the middle of the night to keep me happy puts a wig on me. Who knows? Uh, Drewski 2K says, Nick and Tim, any of the KF crew going to be at GDC? Yeah, we're going to be all over the place. Uh, there's a whole bunch of just random things going on that will be at random things. Not together, but Joey's doing some stuff. Greg Miller's doing some stuff. Me and Kev doing some stuff. I don't know what the fuck Andy's doing. Um, Nick's probably not going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. I've been in the industry now. And yes, I count myself amongst the people in the video game industry. For coming on like 12 years. I've been to so many GDC parties. I know this. Greg and Tim are the ones that go out there and schmooze. They love it. They mm -hmm. like to make new friends. They like to make sure the friends that we have right now, we keep up with them. What's up? The ones that are... The ones that I have to care about, y'all bring back to the office. Mm -hmm. And then I hang out with them, like, cool, what's up? Uh, you got Jason Schreier coming in, the Shry, the Shry guy. Love that. The Shry guy, yeah. You got the Shry guy coming in. Kev, hang we, out with we gotta show the people this, yeah. this video. Let's do this. I don't know what this is, but I'm into it. What are you crunching on over there? What you crunching on? I just hear crunches every once in a while. What is this? Oh, Jesus Christ. Do we want audio? Yeah. We've already gone down the rabbit hole. Fuck? I gotta go back to Japan. Oh, here we go. <laughs> which, one, which one's Gia? Yeah. Well, she's a little marathon runner, so. <laughs> oh my god. What is this for? Soft bank, man. But what? Is SoftBank. It's a bank. It's soft. Oh, so Sh Surfing Pikachu. That was a very special Pokemon card. You can only unlock Surfing Pikachu in the game. I'm amazed that these Pokemon people stadium. are this shit. <laughs> this <laughs> That's just not easy. Uh, right, Drewski, that was fantastic. Drewski 2K also says, Watch Black Mirror episode where the internet troll blackmails people into doing their bidding. Terrified me. Now I put tape over my laptop's camera. Probably a good thing to do. Just letting you guys know. Those mm -hmm. people are really bad. What were they doing? Child pornography. Ew. Yeah. So if I just watch normal Porn, you're fine. guy on girl or yeah. girl on girl yeah. or guy on girl right. on guy or yeah. guy on guy on girl, I'm yep. fine? Yep. Okay, cool. Great. Great. I think about these things sometimes. Yeah, you do? I do. I really do. <laughs> Let's get a couple I more out. So Let's much. get a couple more out. Tim that was Nick. one of those moments where you start saying something and you're like, 
okay, this sounds inappropriate. You didn't say anything inappropriate, but I, I, I felt it in your head. You're like, am I saying something inappropriate? Yeah. I'm just gonna keep saying things to make sure that I don't say anything inappropriate. And there's always that risk that you're gonna get there, but you didn't. The train stayed on the tracks this time, Nick, and I'm proud of you. I like to I'm stand. I like to stand right on the razor's edge, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. I like to put my toe right up to the line. Am I gonna jump off the cliff? Are you gonna come with me? One day, maybe. One day, we'll just burn it all down. But that like, day is like not lemmings? today. Yeah, like a lemming. Do you yeah. remember that that lemmings video? I don't know if they showed you it in science class or whatever. Yeah, not. Uh, there was a Disney lemmings. Yeah, there was some Disney I'm killed get, lemmings. I'm gonna get some facts about this wrong, but there was a, a science video that they showed in a bunch of high school classes, um, teaching about lemmings and how different animals react to things or whatever. And like they tell the story of these lemmings that go on uh, this weird. It's kind of like you know the birds go north or whatever. All the fucking lemmings at some point in the year join together and do a mass suicide off yeah. of a cliff. Yeah. But then it's like, then later it was discovered that that's totally not true and this footage was all it's faked fake. and forced. It's just cut together. And Disney they killed a bunch of lemmings. A bunch of lemmings? Pull it up, Kev, pull it up. Why would you do that? I don't know, but this shit's like, it's unbelievable. Lemmings are cute, they're little groundhogs, right? They're like little fucking... Oh <laughs> no, no! Maybe they didn't die, maybe they just pushed them over in a little basket. They're Why? Fine. That one's, that one's What's fine. Wrong they're swimming away. They're fine. They're swimming. They're they're like, I'm a, <laughs> they like to jump off. Like, little, this footage is insane. They're thrill seekers. <laughs> they just. Fuck yeah, there is. This looks like that scene from 300 where they're just pushing everyone over the cliff. I, I Can you imagine 15 year old Tim and Alfredo in a fucking science class with Mr. James Donahue? No. Sitting here, fucking looking at this shit. We were losing our minds, man. This is inappropriate. This is very inappropriate. It's fucked up. Uh, last one. Ed Casty13 says, Nick, who are you uh, maining on Siege? Tim, any news on the Sprint phone? Uh, I don't know what that first part means. I'm assuming you're asking me which character I'm playing, and I haven't figured that out yet. Right now, I'm Doc, because I like to shoot people with fucking good things sometimes. I don't like to kill people. I thought you shoot them, gives them more health. It's very positive. I'm very into positivity. Tim. What is the latest news? People have been asking this in the, in the chat since you broke I just, I just wish there was a fun story to tell. There is not. Uh, we, this latest update is I've sent the phone away. So what that means, we'll find out in a month. So you've gotten the thing. Mm -hmm. You've sent the phone away. I finally got a return package. Okay. After, I would say, hundreds of hours of trying yeah. to explain to them, I need it sent to me. It's been and four it needs months, to right? say, attention to Tim Gettys. Like, right. no matter what happens, I need my name on that thing. Yeah. Uh, we finally got it. My name's still not on the thing. Instead, it says Kevin Coelho. Attention, Kevin Coelho. Yeah. Sprint. So yeah, actually, You're um, all an dishes. update to you. Like my latest Sprint bill just says zero. So I have to call Sprint and be like, no, 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 no. Like pay me back. Yeah, what yeah, you yeah. Owe me. None of this zero business. You motherfuckers, ladies and gentlemen. And a lot of people talking about prom. We are working on getting details exactly finalized, and we're, we're, plan close. we're planning. We're going to announce the date in March. Do not fucking worry; it's happening, and you will know before it happens. To, you'll be we're days to prepare. The date. the date for tickets. Oh, date for ticket sales. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. Got it. Just to clarify. Yes. It's gonna. It's happening. Very, very, it's very all happening. soon. Because if you if you booked your travel already for that weekend, for the from that for like Thursday to Sunday, you will not just be disappointed. We will actually be having an event. <laughs> there will be lots of things for you to do. Uh, also, if we drop the ball, you'll be in San Francisco. Oh, that's cool shit. Go see the sea lions. Go see the sea lions. Go to Pier 39, get yourself a cup of fucking chowder, and guess what? If you want, hey, if you guys want to go see that Mrs. Doubtfire house? Good lord. Hey, have you guys seen the Doubtfire movie where he dresses up like a woman and takes care of his kids like a woman would? Yeah. Let's go see the house they filmed that in. I hear they painted <laughs> it, but it's still the same house. Every fucking time I drive past that thing, 30 people taking pictures of the Doubtfire house. Why? I've never, I don't know if I've ever seen that one. You don't need to. It's a fucking house. Spoilers. Robin Williams doesn't live in that house. No He's cares. dead. Oh, that got dark really It dark. got morbid. But the full, full house houses. Those are pretty nobody cool. takes a picture of those. Nobody they cares. Do. What do you mean nobody, nobody takes does. a picture of those? Every time in Alamo Square, there's someone taking pictures They're of They're taking the pictures of themselves. They don't know the house is there. I drive past they that at least once them. a month. No one taking pictures. I drive by the Doubtfire house, people crying at the Doubtfire house. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm at the Doubtfire house. <laughs> Have you guys seen the Doubtfire house? I can't believe 
This one film, Doubtfire. Not even his best movie. It's not even that good of a fucking movie. People love Doubtfire so much they got to go to the Doubtfire. Huh? It's a great movie. Dude. It's not, but it's not his best movie. Have you seen Bicentennial? Clearly a worse movie. It's clearly a worse movie than Doubtfire. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's the kind of Monday morning show from Monday, uh, March 19th. I love you guys so much. Uh, coming up, we have a special guest on Kind of Funny Games Daily. Stay tuned for that. Tim, thank you so much. Thank You're you. You're back with me at some point this week, I assume. I don't think I am. No, Andy's here with Maybe. me tomorrow, I think. Did you, Wait, say, did you say who's going to be on oh, tomorrow? Oh, I did not say. Lauren Lanning is joining me tomorrow. Yay. This is going to be so much fun. Uh, if you've never seen any of our content with Lauren Lanning in it, you're Prepare in yourself. for a fucking ride, man. I, my, my prediction tomorrow is that I talk 10% of the time on that show. Okay. It's gonna I be think a good that's show. a fair prediction. <laughs> I think it's a fair prediction. But you I can't wait. stories for days, Cannot man. Cannot wait to catch up with Lauren. He is an awesome, awesome human being. Uh, we'll see what motorcycle he rides over on. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. I'll read the Twitch subscribers. Uh, and Greg will be back with Kind of Funny Games daily. Look at this macho shirt you're wearing. Yeah, it's stitchfix.com slash kind of funny. Love it. Fix my collar. My collar is one of those weird All right. While they're fixing this collar, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin, please, at your leisure, yeah. cut the feed. <laughs>